Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. I'm um, thinking back uh, to when I started, I met a really unique, creative, wonderful guy with a deep blues history. His name was Jimmy Lee Robinson, and he made some great records. And I think I'm going to have to take two lessons to really talk about some of my favorites by Jimmy Lee. But I'm going to start out with Chicago Jump and All My Life single on the bandera now this stuff it just has this beautiful like sense of life to it and you know chicago jumps really joyful and then all my life is so like profoundly sorrowful and it's a hell of a single he had a great voice and a great guitar style and um in part two i want to come back and do the lost american blues men record if you haven't heard this record it's gonna blow your mind is it perfect no, but is it totally unique and just something you've never, does it take you on a, a unique, you know, journey you'll never forget? To me, yes, I really think so. So Lost American Bluesman is incredible. But Jimmy Lee was a wonderful guy and uh, I miss him. I think about him. He had a great style. So let's talk about um, Chicago Jump first. It starts out, it's in G and it's a swinging thing and you can practice this with a looper, you know. Just do like that. I don't have my looper handy right now. But if you were to do a looper, you could just do this. Okay. So the intro is a little strange. There's this sort of pickup pick up section. It's like if you have the top four notes of a G bar chord. And you just go one fret behind it to it second and third for example then second and third on the b string third and fourth on the g string fourth and fifth on the d string and then you go something like that okay let's try it up to speed And then the drum goes, Doom. and that's the beginning of the form. And he goes, and then the first 12 bars, I'm not even going to attempt it because uh, the it's like this tag team with the horn and they can't decide what's going on or something. It sounds a little mixed up, but it sounds really pretty. So you're on your own for the first 12 bars. He, he's, he goes to sort of put the song in, and then he's just playing some leads. He has this weird way of uh, sort of, this weird way of sort of half bending. There's no vibrato in this whole song, nothing. He's just tugging the notes, bending the notes. There's never even a full two-step bend in it, but he's doing the half-step bends. And he does this thing constantly, and he does this all through like everything he ever plays, including the bass lines that he played with Little Walter, and Eddie Taylor of sort of one stroke hits two notes. So let's check this out. So I'm third, I'm fifth fret D string, third fret G string. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, just do one kind of slow stroke, like you're slicing something with a knife. And then you can get out of the way with your third finger so it's not you can do that too that's fine but um or but sometimes it's better to get out of the way so it sounds like two separate notes not like a chord see if you can do that yeah sounds good already he didn't do this that just didn't have the flavor and the groove did it compared to this He's kind of like Luther Tucker with a way lighter touch in some ways. And I think Luther Tucker is even on these sides. Uh, but it's really hard to hear the second guitar, but every once in a while you hear it. And I could be wrong about that. But anyway, so let's try the melody part, second 12 bars. He goes. Usually, yeah, that's what he plays most of the time. Sometimes it's just this. 
You can play the open G string if you want or not. And he changes his timing on. That's what he does first time. Then he goes. Uh, you can tell, like, they must have just written this song. So anyway, um, this is a G6 chord. I'm going to play this whole part of it, okay? The da 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 And then I'm going to use a G6 chord. Now, very conveniently, we've talked about this in other lessons. Five, like the Caledonia lesson, which uh, check that out if you feel like it. Five, three, five on the D, G, B. That makes a uh, four, seventh chord, right? A C seventh. And then he goes, he likes this D ninth chord with the low D string. I mean, with the low E string on the fifth fret. And then the pinky out makes it a 13th. He uses that chord, so. Two, three, four. This might not be on the actual record, but this is the way he played it all the time. See how I'm doing? I'm sort of it's like that's what we talked about. That's the way he would play it live. That's not on the record. So his chords are really great when it comes to like. That's something he did all the time on the four, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's a quick change. So G6 to a C7. I don't know if that seventh was here, but and then C ninth with the low E string, and then he was constantly doing this. He would put a relative minor in there all the time in the middle of his four. So he went C ninth, and then he went A minor. You might hear this. He liked to hit this note and bend it up. I don't think it went right there, but um, it's a heck of a song. So uh, that's like the basic melodies. And then that's 12 bars. See if you can sort of flutter your pick. And then bounce, it's almost a bouncing. It's like slicing through those strings and it kind of bounces the notes. Anyway, you can see I'm, um, his, his style changed as he went along, but he always went back to this. Sometimes he would talk over like, take a ride on Lakeshore Drive, and then he'd talk about driving by Maxwell Street, which was a big cause then. He goes, mmm, smell those onions. It was great. But anyway, this is a really fun song. Now, All My Life is really cool. I think it's an A. Yeah, it's an A. It's He had a great way of playing those chords. He didn't play the full ninth chord, he just played this part. And then he this then he'd answer with the last night chord. Makes sense, right? He played guitar for little Walter. Now I'm going way too fast. So so let's see if this is like one of these heavy blues that goes. This would be a not a bad bass pattern if you were gonna loop it. Or So it starts with that four bar intro, right? 
So if you got that in your mind, I'll try to play for you. Two, three. Ah. It's got that same but up but up but up thing. And then he goes. That's another stroke, one stroke to get three notes. And then second fret up from the fifth, that's seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret B string. All my life. Now this is a test here, or this is a this is a choice. You don't really hear this. It's not all my life. It's already lost of it, right? That was that was okay, but this is better. So this is four, five, four, and then four, five. Skip the B string and five on the E string. All my life. And go ba boom 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 boom. Hit the the down hard and then back way off. Here I backed off. someone just like you yeah then he switches to the last night chord I call it here's your that C seventh shape we've talked about this chord a lot then you take your third pinky put that on the G and E strings Yeah. I wanted someone just like you. I did all I could. Trying to get along with you. He does, he, he's really fascinated with this. He doesn't do that in this song, but he does it all over the place. He does it songs like Twisted Baby, you know. He does it all over Lost American Blues Men. Anyway, check this single out. It's a really great introduction to this guy's style. This is the most, uh, the real like signature lick in Chicago Jump is a diminished chord. And I forgot to talk about it. This is a diminished chord. Five, six, five, six on D, G, B, E strings. So he goes. Relative minor. That's the jump part, right? And there's the D13. So move it up three frets. So it's eight, nine, eight, nine. And then you get all the way up to your pinky on the G note of the E string. Bam! <laughs> Fits over, fits over the one, the four, and the five. So that's like the real jump part of that song. I'm gonna um, stop this lesson now, and we're gonna come back and talk about some of the crazy guitar playing on um, 
Lost American Bluesman another time. So if you have some Jimmy Lee memories, love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We miss you, Jimmy Lee Robinson. And uh, see you next time. Join me on Patreon and subscribe to my YouTube channel to help support these free blues guitar lessons. And thanks a lot. Bye-bye.